Hello everyone, Paradise Square. It's Friday night in the city. I had to do it up, okay? I did the purple mask, I did the purple shirt, I even had the purple ring, and of course, yes, darling, the purple sequin shoes. And yes, I got comments about my mask matching my shoes, and I'm like, oh, but did you see the ring in the shirt? No, I didn't do that. But anyway, of course I had to do it up, and yes, people loved it, and I got comments. You know, not that I do it for that reason, because I don't really like being the center of attention or anything. But once that show started, Paradise Square, everybody forgot all about my outlandish outfit. In fact, you know what? I am too, okay? We're just taking it off because let me tell you what, honey, I saw a new musical tonight. <sighs> I'll just start with, I have not actively sobbed in a musical like that in a long time. I'm thinking maybe not since Broadway reopened and I was up here that first historic week and I was sobbing through every single performance because I was just so glad to be back. Look at me. Um, but I I mean, I sobbed. Um, this show, Paradise Square, is amazing. Um, I, the and it's a brand new musical it's not from a movie it's not a revival it is just new yeah there's a book that it's written on it's, and it's based on the um new york city draft riots from 1860 during the civil war uh when they were trying to institute a draft uh to get men to fight in a civil war for the union and they revolted and they burned the draft and they had riots in the city um but eh, that's a little small part of it. What it's really about is this place in New York City called Five Points and a saloon called Paradise Square. And the saloon is owned by a black woman who is played by, and I'm going to not get the name right, Joaquina Calacongo. She uh, played the lead in Slave Play several years ago and was nominated for a Tony Award. Um, y'all, this is a talent. I'll tell you in a minute. Anyway, um, she's married to a white man in the show. And his white Irish sister is married to a black reverend. And black and white intermingle and live in harmony in 1860 in Paradise Square. This bar in the middle of Five Points, this area that actually has the notoriety of being the very first slum in America. At least so people say. But they lived in harmony and they lived in peace and in love and in joy. And of course, you know what happens when that's going on. The capitalist and the people who are just angry and mean and full of hatred have to come in and destroy it. Because you can't have that and you can't be that happy. And so the story unfolds. Um, and it's sad. And it's inspirational. And it ends incredibly well. And I left full of hope and sadness in America that could have been. Um, I'm going to have to do some research and find out just how much of this is based on truth. Um, and if these characters were real, um, I'm going to look it up. So right now, I don't know. What I know is this show moved me. In fact, there was a moment um, when Joaquina, um, she plays Nellie O'Brien, because she married an Irishman, um, has a number in theater. We call it the 11 o'clock number. And maybe I should do a little video or story about what an 11 o'clock number is and how it got called that. It's not that hard to figure out. Um, and we, I was sobbing in that too. I cried multiple times. Um, I was on the second row and I, I, there was a seat in between me and this other couple. And we literally were almost, we were reaching out to each other. We were almost touching and holding hands. You're not supposed to do that. So, but we would have been had it not been, you know. And when she finished her song, 
the audience leapt to our feet. Y'all, 200 plus shows I've been to over 20 something years. That is very rare that that happens. Other than like during COVID, when, or not COVID, but when Broadway came back. That week I was up here that all the shows came back, it happened a lot because we were just so happy to be back and everything meant something different. So take that out of the equation. In all of my experience, I think I've experienced that maybe two or three times. And I experienced it tonight. It was insane. But, oh, <laughs> the dancing. Oh my God, the dancing, the choreographer, Bill T. Jones. I knew it was a Bill T. Jones choreography. I didn't read the notes. I knew it because he choreographed Spring Awakening like 20 years ago or something. And it was really revolutionary choreography. And there was a little bit of that that I could see in this. He, he in this show though, because it's a, it's a lot of Irish and, and, and immigrants. Man, it talked a lot about the immigrants and, and the immigrants. It was the, the rich um, white Americans that could get out of the draft and they were sending the poor Irish immigrants um, to, to, to war. And of course, the black uh, people in the play were going, the black men were going, we want to fight, but they wouldn't let them. You know, they, they, they wouldn't let um, African Americans fight in the Civil War until later. But at the time of this play, they wouldn't. And um, anyway, so th there's a, it, a lot of these are Irish, right? And so he took... Bill T. Jones, the choreographer, took the, the Irish jig, if you weigh, and that Irish river dance, those, where those legs just flail about, you know? Um, and he took that, and then he, he partnered it with a, a, a very tribal African beat and movement of, of body, and the two should not go together. They do, and... They use dance to tell so much of the story that it just, oh, I, I, I would get moved just watching them dance. It, it was just a, a brilliant, uh, fabulous uh, choreography uh, production. Uh, it, it had a lot of uh, production quality to it, and often big musicals get too overproduced. This show didn't feel that to me. Um, the music and um, the lyrics were, were powerful and true. Um, Moises, Moises, I can never say his name right, Moises Kaufman uh, directed it. He's directed a few things on Broadway. Um, this show, from scene to scene, just melted into each other and told a seamless story. And it was a story of strength. And it was a story of a woman refusing to give up, a woman who has been knocked down over and over again and who has been damaged and broken and refuses to take that dim look of the world and, and, and is positive. And, and when everybody's running for their lives and running for help and she has the most to lose, she reaches her arms out and says, here, come come shelter with me and then she stands up and a brilliant show fabulous experience I'm so lucky I got to see it um, Paradise Square if you're in New York if you're getting a chance to come go see it it's a brand new musical I really hope this show runs I really hope it does well I want to see it again um, okay that was my Friday night show that's Theater Chat with Scott. Thanks. Bye.